Did you happen to see the large trailer outside of your school with all the cool pictures? Well, you're in for a wonderful educational treat brought to you by the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, the Kentucky Agricultural Development Fund, Kentucky Agriculture and Environment in the Classroom, and Kentucky's Farmers and Agricultural Businesses. Today, you will be entering the Mobile Science Activity Center to complete an agri-science activity selected by your teacher. This activity will be related to agriculture, which is the science of producing crops and raising livestock for food and renewable resources we use every day. Before you enter the Mobile Science Activity Center, however, we want you to observe a few rules so everyone will have an effective but fun learning experience. Please take care while we are entering the center and slowly walk to an iPad station in the groups your teacher has assigned. Once you reach your station, Please wait for instructions before you touch the iPad or any other item sitting in front of you. You should face away from your station with your hands at your sides and wait for instruction. Always listen to the Kentucky Department of Agriculture Facilitator and only complete the tasks as instructed. Do not move ahead even if you have done this activity before. When using the iPad, lightly touch the screen when prompted. Never tap, hit, or push the screen with force and please make sure your hands are clean. If the iPad isn't working properly, please raise your hand and make the instructor aware. Try to keep your station as neat as possible. Avoid spills and no horse play. When pouring or measuring, be sure to do it facing your station and not over the floor. If you do spill something, please raise your hand and the instructor will help you. Should you have any questions once you are in the trailer, always raise your hand and wait to be called upon. And please, keep commentary to a minimum to try and keep the activity moving along. Once the activity is over, please exit the center carefully and be sure to thank your facilitator, your teacher, and any other volunteers that helped out. You may also want to find out who paid for your educational experience and write them a thank you note. Now that you've heard the rules, we want to show you a few more things that you will be learning today. Your teacher has selected an activity that will help you understand chemistry, states of matter, and an important renewable resource, milk. And you will be using milk in a simple chemical reaction to make ice cream. But before you start your experiment, we want to tell you more about the cows and farmers that provide us with fresh milk to enjoy. There are several hundred dairy farms in Kentucky. They raise special types of cows that make a lot of milk. They are called dairy cows. Once a cow has had a calf, she will begin producing milk, which the farmer will need to collect two to three times each day using an electric milking machine. The average dairy cow will provide about four gallons of milk at each milking. When the milk is collected, it is sent to a cooled storage tank until a truck is ready to pick it up from the farm. A truck takes the milk to a processor every single day so it stays fresh. Milk is a very nutritious food and contains energy, protein, and many essential vitamins and minerals, such as calcium, potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. It can be enjoyed as a beverage or used to make many dairy foods, such as cheese, yogurt, butter, and ice cream. We sure do hope that you enjoy your experience today. We also hope you're encouraged to consider all of the careers and jobs necessary to provide safe, quality food and renewable resources to our communities, country, and world. The population is growing, and sound agriculture will remain the most important pursuit on our